That is a toy. I think it's the same person keep asking me about this slot machine here in Vicky's room. And that's Vicky's personal uh, slot machine. When she's <laughs> yes. bored, she plays that machine here. Now it is her toy actually. Uh, it is a toy. It is fully functional. Vicky. Well, it needs batteries though. For needs batteries, yeah. yeah. How much you want for it? People want to know. It's heavy. Nobody it is heavy, so it's going to cost a little bit of money to yeah. share because it's like 25 pounds, but what are you thinking? Don't look at me, look at the camera right here. I, I don't know, I wasn't thinking of selling it, so... Uh, no? Well then, maybe a price. Because we're not going to put it on auction because there's some crazy people <laughs> on auction. No, I wasn't going to do that. I don't know. I, I feel... It's What's probably worth much? 50 bucks. 50 bucks plus yeah. shipping? Yeah. Alright, cool. What is it? Yeah. This. Right? Yeah. Well, someone asked. Oh. Everything is for sale. I need to sell that bat. What bat? That bat up there. My baseball bat. What kind of bat is it? Oh, it's a Cubs bat. I don't remember what year. Cubbies? Yeah, but it's sold. Uh, let's grab it. Can you reach? Uh, I can. Here, hold the camera. Okay. Oh. So this is 101 of 2005 limited edition, 2005 Chicago Cubs, but that's be, that's way before they won the, yeah. you know. But when you love the Cubs, you love the Cubs. That's true, and it's got the whole team on it, right? That year, that that roster is here, the yeah. 2005. Yep. So there's some good names here. How much, Vicky? I don't know. It's just my bat. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's just my I don't bat. play baseball. I no, actually I suck at baseball. I like baseball. I like the Cubs. Last time I played, I think I was in eighth grade. Really? Yeah. That's a long time ago. A long time ago. So how much? I really don't know. Okay. I will look it up. Let's hear some offers. Vicky's bat. <laughs> and she'll she'll sign her name on it too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My unofficial, uh, you know. What? My I'll be on the roster on <laughs> You'll be on our roster, yeah. Price. What did you buy here, Adrian? Harley. Harley, I like Harley. Some so weird. John Deere. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. My brother, you come over and look at the ladders though, the wood stop. Turn the shed there? Oh yeah. Because I don't want to carry them over there and you say no, you know. Okay, well let's wait till spring, because right now I have too many. We over. have so many ladders, yeah. yeah. So let's, uh, what about shovels? Same, same thing, yeah. yeah. And then we can definitely come out to your place, that way you don't have to drag it so we can, you know. Well, it's going to be in the shed over there, most of it. Yeah. I have a whole barn full of stuff on Thompson Road. Yeah, yeah. I got to move in the spring. Oh, yeah? A whole barn. Well, let us know when you're ready and then we'll come out. Yeah, we'll look at it. Definitely. Oh, I got trucks for sale too. Trucks and I got a... Uh, um, Box truck. I'm sure you guys would love to have. No, I got the trailer. We're good. Box truck is better. <laughs> yeah. You don't get don't get shit rained on. Cost insurance. Nah. Uh, we else. we get, we have an enclosed trailer as well. Uh, Anybody seen my phone? I lost my phone. I have not. Seriously, lost my phone. Adrian, can you call my phone? I seriously lost my You're phone here. here so. I don't need to call you. Huh? You're here. I don't need to call you. Funny guy. I need my phone. Did no. you leave it in here? No. <laughs> What's your name? What's my name? I don't know. Your favorite business partner. That's how it should be on your phone. <laughs> Got it. Got it? Thank you. My team, the Bears, that end up 8-8. Eight and eight. Horrible. And we got the Blackhawks. Nice pictures. But look what we picked up here. What a monsters here. DJL is the brand. This is a company that is based out of Chicago. They make these monsters. These are 15 inches. Each one of these probably weighs about 40, 35, 40 pounds. Monsters. They're actually not that expensive new, $225 each. So I gave the guy $75 a piece. Hopefully we can maybe get buck fifty out of them. 
They're like new. So from the first guy, first thing in the morning, I bought this um, these monitor speakers. They're monitor audio. This is a British British company from UK. Very nice speakers. They do have little scuffs on top, but that's very minor. They sound incredible. This is the model Silver S1, and uh, I gave him uh, eighty dollars. This was actually store credit, eighty dollars. He picked up a bunch of stuff here. So hopefully maybe I can get about 160 bucks out of these, maybe 180 on a good day. I think we're gonna throw them uh, on eBay. They'll be easy to ship, they're not too big. And then from another guy that we bought some stuff from him before, he always brings antique and vintage stuff. I got these toppers. Now this one has one crack on the bottom here, so I, I know that's gonna take away a little bit from the value. Tales from the Crypt. These are a topper for original toppers for vintage pinball machines. They would sit way on top. So this is very cool. And this one is the special one. Because I don't think they made many Gunner and Roses pinball machines. And this is also a topper that would go on top. Uh, this one is in better condition. Got a couple scuffs, but I don't think it was ever installed by looking at the the brackets there was never any screws tied to them so this is super interesting piece this might actually go for quite a bit of money um, the tails from uh from the crib not so much maybe 100 120 bucks that's about it but gunner roses that could potentially bring maybe three four hundred dollars on a good day and then i got a ton of um manuals for old jukeboxes troubleshooting manuals and stuff like that this is very sought after he sold me the whole box of these so for everything that i got here i paid him 200 dollars about 75 bucks a piece on these and 50 bucks for the manuals now the manuals can range from 10 dollars to all the way to like 40 50 bucks depending on the manual definitely long tail stuff right here in this box you're waiting for the right buyer to sell these but uh, easy to ship easy to store easy to handle uh, great buy i love it especially this the guns and roses why are you so aggressive today huh ruby ruby wants to get the bell i think honey didn't have the bell the little bell for like three four days and we just put it on yesterday and she's like all over it right <laughs> hey <laughs> stop it <laughs> yeah, you guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. So look what walked in yesterday to the shop. I wasn't here. Adrian took this in. This actually came in. We didn't buy these. This gentleman would like to do a consignment with us on this stuff. Uh, but I'm very, very skeptical of stuff that comes in like this. Not only that this is... I mean, obviously this is all history, right? It's part of history. But these are... Uh, before World War uh, II and uh, during World War II, a lot of bayonets and different knives from uh, from Nazi era. So they're actually not easy to move, and some of them been duplicated heavily, lots of replicas in 60s and 70s. So it's all about the condition and the markings on a blade. Um, I do have an expert coming in a little bit later on today to actually take a look at them to determine 
if these are actually real or not. I have a question definitely about two or three of them here. And, and I think two or three are legit. So, but it's hard. Stuff like this, it's always very hard. Like for example, uh, a dagger like this with such a beautiful blade and with these weird etching markings that you have here, I think this is a complete replica. So, and I believe actually right here in this spot, it should be a SES marking, not some, I don't know what that even is. So I think like this is complete knuckle, but then something like this, a real bayonet, shows complete wear on a handle. The blade looks the way it should. The markings on it, 1974, everything looks legit on this. So lots of questions on this stuff. That's why we, we're gonna have a guy come in and look at this stuff. So a couple of weeks ago, I picked up a Cricut machine, a different one, that till day, till today you guys are asking if I still have it so another one came in today this is a little bit different model Explore Air 2 overall in very good condition couple minor scuffs on the top here just cosmetic I don't think that uh, that does anything to the functionality of the machine overall in good good condition so this one this one I'm gonna be asking also $120 Obviously plus shipping, this is not a small unit, but it's not super heavy. So if somebody's interested, let me guys know. Email always in the description. Let me know your address so I can tell you how much it's going to be to ship. Everybody, everybody's drinking on a job over here. <laughs> so good. So I got these, we got these as a gift from actually one of you guys, from a viewer, all the way from California. These are happy barrels with alcohol. <laughs> this company is called Battle. They've been around since 1851. And this is like, like top notch stuff. And these are little chocolate barrels filled with different flavors of different alcohols. They're delicious. Mm, they were so good. <laughs> I want another, but I'm not having another. Why not? Have one. There's not many. That's They're okay. so good though. Stretch them out. I feel like I'd get a buzz if I had another. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about all this honey, huh? Are you comfortable, baby? Are you comfortable? Sleepy head? Sleepy head. So I actually don't remember if I filmed these when they came in. Um, this was, remember, couple months ago I filmed a guy who brought the whole big collection of different posters and stuff uh, from uh, Bruce Springsteen and we've been doing pretty well we sold quite a few but just a few days ago he showed up with a two final posters that he had and a book that he originally didn't want to part with because he has this book uh, signed by Springsteen and i gotta be really gentle here but the book is like brand new condition so that's his signature right there born to run and we listed this as a bundle i don't remember now i either gave him 80 bucks or 100 bucks something like that and uh, we listed for 300 dollars as a big bundle two posters and the book that it signed and it sold plus 30 dollars shipping so um actually these are numbered posters so this one was number 404 out of 500 so not very common uh this one is a little bit more common but still a great flip look nothing like a, a box from a dumpster dive huh only took five minutes to pack this ready to go it's gonna be a little bit bulky in the middle but that doesn't matter it's well protected got these belt corners on the end perfect fit love it what you think stinker Huh? Meow. Meow. Where are you, girl? Meow. Meow. All right, guys. See this Marlon Monroe picture that it's hanging here? Has a neon, pink neon running through it. Now, this neon used to be on many years ago. This picture has been hanging here for 80 years, I want to say. Yes, about 80 years. And for the first like three years, this used to light up and eventually burned out. We have a 
$200 price on it. And the main reason that it's 200 because we never wanted to sell it. It's such a cool piece and we had so many compliments on it that, uh, that we never wanted to sell it. But now, now is actually a time to move this piece somewhere else. Find a new home for it on some other wall. Why? Because this piece is going to go on that wall, at least for time being. Till Kevin decides what he wants to do with it. I told him uh, that this can stay here as long as he wants till he gets situated and find his own place. If he worries about it that it might, you know, get damaged or whatever. So we frame it nicely. We framed it nicely in a very nice uh, thick frame. This frame is actually designed for jerseys. Alright guys, look at that. Does that look good or what? I think that looks pretty good. Ruby, where are you flying? Huh? Where are you flying? She's stretching her wings. Yeah, I think uh, I think it presents itself really good here. And if, I, if anybody wants to like come out and take a picture with this, they can. So, yeah, great spot. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. I appreciate it. Till next time. Cheers.